Hello and welcome back to the next game. The Viper playing in red as the Magyaros and we have Hera in blue as the Turks here on Arena. Interesting matchup in my opinion as the Turks are considered a lot better on Arena but it's the Viper who is playing Magyaros here. So this could go either way and I'm really hoping to see an interesting game here. We're going to find out together. Now let's go for the maps first, see what they're all about. Hera being Turks probably wants to go for Castle sometime in this game. And we have a second stone safe in the back for him and the main stone also safe in the bag, that's already good for him. Then again, main gold forward, second gold inside but forward and a third gold on left hand side is outside. Not looking too pretty for him here when it comes to gold, so he might need to go aggressive uh, just for that reason. Not only because he's Turks and then you want to go for Genesis, usually they're quite strong here. But it's also possible that Hera might think, okay, my map is bad, I may, might need to go aggressive anyways, uh, regardless of the Sif. So I'm expecting to see a castle in early castle age, to be honest. We have a relic outside of his base, very close here and uh, I guess this one a neutral zone the others are a little bit closer to Viper one more in a neutral zone a few bears on this map uh, I guess that's the replacement for the wolves here but it uh, doesn't really matter I'm expecting to see 25 HP as well doesn't make really a lot of sense here. A wolf and a bear have the same HP, but maybe I don't know how nature is there. We have a few deer close to his base for her inside, so I can lure them in no problem. And for the viper, deer also inside, four of them close to the mill actually, but obviously a viper prefers to lure them towards the TC. It makes more sense, it's faster, it's more efficient. We have four viper, main gold forward, main stone forward, not too far, but they are forward. And a third gold forward and outside. One relic relatively close to his base. The second gold then on the side in the bag. It looks like it's been placed here and the wood around has been disappearing or something like that. But uh, we might see sure TC here maybe later on. It's possible. And then we have a second stone safe in the bag for him. And here I think he scouted out already but a lot of nothing. Two bears but that's it. Let's see. Fogo 4 uh, like this. Yeah, he scouted it. Very nice to see from the Viper. But uh, there is nothing to, found, uh, to be found there. So Viper has his resources all around this TC, except for that stone maybe. And uh, Viper with the Magyars. Mm, what do you do against Turks here? I imagine we could see scouts. We might also see Cav Archers actually to like try and counter the Tunisters. But could be tough for the Viper here. And I'm expecting to see uh, like two, maybe three TCs for him. I don't think he's gonna go for a boom here. Four TCs is way too dangerous against Turks. But three TCs is possible. Maybe if he's getting pressured, he might uh, opt for two here. I hope to see three actually. We're going to find out soon. Viper is on the way to Feudal Age on 25 population. S building a house somewhere. I don't see it. I'm not sure if he was housed before. This one looks like he built it in like in time trouble. Uh, there's a barracks now coming up for him, but still 25 population still no house getting built and if Viper is doing a mistake like that that would be quite devastating to be honest and it's actually possible now he's realizing and that's at uh, only 10% missing for feudal age but he should be in time house for a split second but it's not a big problem and there is uh, a market coming up for him market is very interesting decision I'm not sure why it doesn't make too much sense for me market coming up and is there a stable arch range blacksmith something uh, there is a stable coming up, built with three villagers. I guess he was waiting for some wood here. Viper's build order not optimal, but it's not a big problem for him. He's on the way to Castle Age now. And Hera in the meantime is finishing Feudal Age. Has a lot of uh, villagers on farms already. Has five villagers on the main stone. This looks like a typical Janissary build order to me. And I guess Hera might want to go for a second TC as well, usually. One TC. Yeah, it can work, but not against the Viper, so you should go for some economy and uh, could even see three TCs, but uh, I imagine one at least. Market coming up, Blacksmith coming up, nothing special, a lot of food in the bank already. Is he going for double bit X for Horse Collide? Did he do that already and I just didn't see it? It's possible, he's got a lot of resources uh, still banked up and Castle Age coming up for him as well. As for the Viper, he is trying to chase down that scout. That scout is going to turn into a light cap and then I'm not sure how uh, good the fight is going to be for the Viper here actually, but he should be able to get another hit in. And uh, for now he's not able to do it. Uh, researching double decks only now, Hera a little bit late on that. Viper is up to Castle Age, going with the TC on the main gold. Monastery coming up, is he going for scouts? There's a second scout on the map now. And Hera is actually able to run away here, look at this. Quite funny to see, Viper is still chasing him down. 
but is not able to reach him. Wonk on the way. Swiper going for TC number three already. Not yet. Doesn't have the boat for now. Five, yeah. six villagers on gold. Monk on the way. And Hera is up to Castle Age, but is losing the light calf. We should lose it. Uh, what is Hera doing? A castle coming up between the two golds. I guess it's a decent spot. It leaves the, the far side a little bit open, but I don't think the Viper is going to like be aggressive anytime soon. At least not trying to go into space, especially seeing that Janisris will come out anytime. And we have a Hera with enough resources to click up to Imperial Age. Fast imp for him. Didn't expect this, but seeing the number of farms, it makes a lot of sense actually. Sending more riches to gold now. Janissary production starting. Now I imagine we want, uh, would like to see a siege workshop next. Go for some bombard cannons. But a pure fast imp with the castle coming up. That's uh, surprising to me because uh, Viper has military units on the field. Even a knight here collecting relics. And how about the TCs? One, two, three TCs now. Yes, one on the wood line. Nice triangle here. The gold to the front, but it's not a big problem here, I think. Arch range also coming up. Does Viper realize that uh, we have Hera with a fast imp here? Maybe he does. He can see the score being really low despite the fact that there's Genesis is on the field. So I guess Viper knows what's happening and therefore is adding Arch range. And now I'm expecting to see Cav Archers here. Cav Archer production starting already. And Viper with 51 villagers. Hera probably like 34. Yes, actually, that's correct. 34, 35. Wasn't sure about it. Bombard cannon production starting as Hera is up to Imperial Age. And we have the Trinistries moving forward, taking down the Light Calf, and the Knight is probably next. Viper getting one conversion in, actually, but uh, losing two moves. And wow, look at this. Hera converted that Trinistry uh, back, saying, No, you don't get that one easily. Uh, that's amazing to see that Hera was able to reconvert here. Now Viper um, needs to um, prepare for that big push that is coming in from Hera. And he's going with the Cav Archers. No upgrades yet. I'm a little surprised here. Um, is that Bloodlines coming up? I don't really recognize him. That's um, Husbandry on the way. Bloodlines done. I imagine Fletching should come in any second now. But it's not happening. Interesting. Fletching is really a must here, in my opinion. Yeah, Fletching done. <laughs> okay. And Boat Canary probably too. There it is. Ballistic also on the way. Hera in the meantime going with a forward siege workshop now. Going with Bombard Cannons. Is on 40 villagers at this point in the game. And there's the Kevarches moving in. Chinistra should be stronger at 70 HP and boat can never done. It could be different, uh, difficult for Hera to defend in the long run. I think he's doing a smart thing. He's killing those archer ranges, and that's something that players usually don't do. But I think it's a very good idea. Then again, Viper has like seven or had seven of those. He's still got five archer ranges left. Going for a few houses now as he's on 90 population. And Hera getting attacked from uh, the outside, actually. The two bombard cannons are doing good, but there's too many cav archers now to just micro against that. And Hera is trying to move forward to try and um, push those cav archers back. Viper Hi in the meantime is opening all his walls and saying, okay, I'm going for it. There is the cav archers trying to take down the bombard cannons. It takes a while, but finally they're down and Hera is losing all his army now. It's under 50 population and Viper at the same time 91. This is not looking good for Hera. He needs to move back with the rest of the Genesis. And now as he doesn't have a lot of economy, didn't go for a second TC, obviously, as he went for the fast imp. I think Viper has a very, very good position to just go to Imperial Age or uh, maybe even go for Castle Age attack here. Viper, a lot of wood on the bank. I guess he needs to um, balance his economy a little bit more. Uh, he needed a lot of food for the Cavarches, but now he should go for food and probably should go for Imperial Age as well. Heron is... yeah, what is he doing? Is he still producing... Um, Genesis, no, Manganels now coming up. But Manganels against Cav Archers, we know this is not going to work out too well. And still a few Genesis out, but Hera doesn't really have an attack on, and that's what you want to have with a fast imp. You need to win it early on because if you're allowing your opponent to go to like, yeah, I guess 100 villagers and Viper is at 88 at this point, was 86 just a minute ago, then it's gonna get tougher and tougher. And Viper could just go for more and more military units and just win this in Castle Age, I think. And that's maybe what he's going to do. Like, if your stables come up now production starting plus one defense plus two attack actually as the Magyars obviously get the free attack upgrades on their uh, knights or on their melee units and now the Cav Archer spraying out and is Viper trying to take that fight three Magyars is still a lot to take them on with just Cav Archers mm, he's uh, trying to snipe among and kind of and the Trinistry here very nice to see Hera is again trying to move forward but Viper uh, almost double the villagers 40 more 53 against 93 and where's the knights actually waiting here 
here. Uh, do they have full upgrades now? Yes, fully upgraded knights, fully upgraded scav archers in Castle Age and Viper. Yes, 50 military units in total uh, from my quick count here. Siege Workshop going down by just scav archers and now there's the big attack. Knights moving forward, taking down the Mangan Elves. You get Janissar is in the middle getting caught and Hera is going to call it GG as Viper was able to survive a fast imp. I guess Janissaries was good fast imp, maybe not perfect. Uh, Hera needed to push pressure on the Viper and while at the same time try and go for the relics and go for a little bit of economy, then go up fast and try to go with the bombard cannons maybe. But Viper knew how to play this and Hera I think was trying something and did not succeed. I hope you enjoyed this game. See you in the next one. GG.